Go to rockseta.com and click the Joe JavaScript machine learning tutorials. This is the second web link called jj02-basics.html. This page only has one button. It's going to do quite a bit. Getting beginners used to the idea that machine learning expects them to keep track of several things at once. This one is mainly matrix math and getting used to the concept of working with matrices. So click the button and have a look at the weights matrix and the inputs matrix. Both are three by three matrices. Here is one of the first concepts where we flatten the input matrix. Now let's look at the code. First is a helper function called my tensor table, which I made to make it easier to show these matrices as a web page table. Pass to the function the div name, tensor name, number of columns, and a title, and it displays the information as a table on your web page. Look at the end of the code. You can see that the button simply runs the main function called myTest01. Note that below the function is the div called myDiv01. Near the top of the code, the async function myTest01 defines several constants, matrix shape, my weights, and my inputs. Matrix shape just shows one way of defining the shape of any matrix. I did not use it with my weights. My weights declares its matrix using the DeepLearn.js shorthand DL dot, then array 2D dot new to declare a new two-dimensional matrix, first declaring the shape, then inputting the amounts in flattened format. Same method with my inputs. Now we use await and the my tensor table function to show these matrices on the web page. Run the button again and see how these first two tables printed up. Then we flatten the my inputs matrix and display its information on the web page. Note that any deep learn constant or variable has lots of methods available from the deep learn JS API. Have a look at them at http colon slash slash deeplearnjs.org and then find API at the top right. Next, we define a scalar variable with the number 2.3 and call it my bias. To show the information, we await for my bias dot data and display it on the web page. Click the button and find the output. Now to find my algorithm as a DL dot env dot math. In many deep learn JS examples, they call this variable math, but I find that really confusing since JavaScript already has a capital M math set of functions. Instead of the word math, we're going to use my algorithm to make several matrix calculations. Variable my product is the matrix multiplication of my weights and my inputs using my algorithm dot matmol. Matmol stands for matrix multiplication. Then await and display the results. Next, the program makes two more matrices, my matrix one and my matrix two, and prints them. The next four printouts show the difference between matrix transposition. First regular, second transpose my matrix one, then reverse the order of matrix multiplication, which unlike normal multiplication changes the answer. And the last one transposes my matrix ones, but in the reversed format. Click the button and view the answers. You could try to put the answers into a table for viewing on the web page. Something for you to do. Next, we print out more complex functions, first setting up 1D arrays matrix W and I and bias B. Then we try printing sigmoid of the bias added dot product of W and I. Also solved are the sine H and the relu of the same function. Looking at the code, these are one dimensional arrays. Most of it we have already covered. What is new here is the scope function as a method of my algorithm. Scope is a fancy way to have DeepLearn.js look after storing variables and deleting them when the calculations are finished. You can use, but not shown here, the keep keyword to be able to hold on to variables you need for later. Each part of this code just does what it was described above. The w times i plus b can be thought of as similar to y equals m times x plus c used in science linear graphs. This tutorial is over. Um, make sure you check out the deeplearnjs.org website and the API to find methods of each of the classes. Remember to set inherited to check so you can see all the method, methods connected with a class. Joe Javis